Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out the new Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. I'm going to be putting this up to the test next to the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation to see what the differences actually are and which one would be better for you and doing a wear test. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. <music> quick i wanted to pop in and say i did do a poll on my instagram about this benefit hello happy flawless brightening foundation and a hundred percent of you guys said yes you guys are the mvps i'm gonna hit on the deets about the hello happy soft blur foundation this one i believe came out last year i did use all of this up i did have a full size but i just repurchased a mini size for this video when i went to go pick up the flawless brightening foundation now the full size of the hello happy is 30 dollars, and this little teeny tiny little mini size is 10 dollars, which i still think is a bit pricey because it's 0.2 fluid ounces and that's really tiny i feel like that's only gonna get you like what three uses <laughs> and then this one the full size is 30 dollars, and it also has a mini size that is 15 dollars. and the full size for this one is a full fluid ounce so i'm gonna start applying these and then talk about the differences between them. I'm going to start off with the soft blur foundation. Now I already kind of primed my skin. I am not a big fan of their professional primer just because it doesn't do well with my skin type, but I did use the Watso Shiseido Clear Mega Hydrating Cream, which you can also use as a hydrating blurring primer. I figured it'd be pretty good for both of these foundations because it's hydrating and primes and it blurs all at the same time. So look at how cute and tiny this is. Oh my god. How about you? Oh my gosh. This is so tiny. I almost feel like it's worth it just buying the full bottle. All right, so I'm going to be using one side of my beauty blender for one side of my face and then the other side of my beauty blender for the other side of my face. So this is what it's supposed to look like in consistency. Now this is a light to medium coverage foundation. It is not meant to be full coverage whatsoever. Neither of these foundations are full coverage. So if you only like full coverage, then you're probably not gonna like either of these. Both of these foundations do have an SPF 15. The one I'm using right now, the Soft Blur Foundation, is supposed to be a flashback free, but for the Floss Fusion, it doesn't have any claims on being flashback free. And then the Soft Blur Foundation also has a soft matte finish and has optical blurring spheres to help give the skin a blurring appearance. And I have shade two in both of these, by the way. So now you can see this is a straight up my alley foundation. You can see why I ran through this so fast. If you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know. I love foundations that are pretty, just even out the kind of discoloration and redness in my skin, but still make my skin look like skin. That is definitely my favorite kind of foundation. So now on to the main star of this show, the Hello Happy Brightening Foundation. Now this one is supposed to be more of a medium coverage. I will say the shade range on both of these is not that impressive whatsoever. I mean, I feel like I'm more in between one and two rather than being a two. But me personally, I kind of like my foundation a little bit darker. So again, this one's supposed to be a medium coverage. It has SPF 15 in it, the same as the Soft Blur Foundation. Oh yeah, you can already tell it's a little bit more full coverage. I feel like it's a little bit lighter too. So what's fascinating about this one that I'm so interested in is that it's supposed to be kind of like skincare in a foundation. So it has these flower acids 
in the foundation that help to brighten and kind of lightly exfoliate your face at the same time to help with brightening your complexion while you're wearing it and then it also helps out the spf because anything with like acid or that's brightening your skin in that kind of way you're gonna need an spf and then it has hyaluronic acid so it's a lot more hydrating than the soft blur foundation this also has a 12 hour wear claim to it which the soft blur foundation does not have any wear claim to it and then this one has photogenic pigments in it so it adapts the foundation to kind of brighten and match your skin tone in different lighting so in honor of the benefit products I have some other Benefit products that I will be using. I have the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. I was obsessed with this for the longest time. Look at that, that dip in there. <laughs> I was so in love with this. And then I also have four of the Benefit powders. I have the Dallas Bronzer for Texas. I have the California Blush the Hula Bronzer and the Coralista blush. And of course, I have some Benefit brow products. I use these all the time, especially this brow powder. I use this almost every day that I do my eyebrows. So with this concealer, I'm just gonna take it with a brush and then I'll blend it out with the sponge. But right off the bat, I do notice that the Flawless Fusion Foundation is definitely a little bit more full coverage than the Soft Blur. I can tell that this side is a lot more dewy and glowy. I mean, there's, it's still natural. It's like this one is a natural matte and this one is a natural dewy. That makes sense. Like, they're just a a hair of a difference away from each other. I don't have a Benefit powder. I thought about getting the blur powder, but I really don't need it, need it. So I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna set these in the same place, same way. And then with everywhere else that I didn't set with a sponge, I'm just gonna lightly dust over with a full fluffy brush and left in the so now that I have done my face, I want to zoom in and see if you guys notice any difference in my cheeks, my forehead, my smile lines. I do notice more of a difference when I turn my head to my cheeks. So I feel like this has a lot more coverage where I have a lot of discoloration and redness in my cheeks and veining. With like this side, you can see some of that veining and redness popping through. As far as like finish wise, I feel like now that I put that Laura Mercier powder on, the finish looks pretty similar. Like I feel like you wouldn't really be able to tell that I wasn't, I was wearing two different foundations. Hmm. This is going to be a tricky one guys, but so far I really like this foundation. I like how it applied. It spread pretty easily. They both feel really weightless. They don't feel like I have a lot on my face. They don't feel sticky or heavy. They both do transfer, even with the Laura Mercier powder on top. I am doing this wear test mostly because I think a lot of people are looking for a good natural coverage foundation that is gonna have a little bit SPF for them. So I think if you are a little bit more on the drier side, you may like this one, but if you're a little bit more on the oilier side, you might like the soft blur foundation. But honestly, I feel like any skin type could use both of these, but I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll come back on and then we can get into the wear test. All right, so I just finished my makeup. I used everything that I mentioned earlier and then for my eyes, I used the Huda Beauty Orange Neon Obsessions Palette. And then for my lips, I used the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine in the shade Naked. And we are gonna get on to this wear test. I will say upon like doing my foundation and stuff, I noticed that this part of my face is getting just a little bit more yellow. Do you see in comparison to these sides? And then even on my forehead, 
I feel like right above my eyebrows, this part looks a little bit more yellow. And right here too. This looks yellow. This looks more like my skin. It could be that this is more full coverage and this just has more of my skin peeking through, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys. But let's get on to this wear test and see what we're gonna be looking like in a couple hours. All right, so I've had my makeup on for about seven hours now and not a lot of oil is peeking through on either side. Both look pretty good. I was itching my nose a lot because I did some haircuts and I feel like there's hair all around my nose but i wanted to show you guys i feel like the smile lines it's not as bad on this side as it is on this side this side it is creased a bit this side is not as bad but i can't really help it <laughs> and forehead lines look pretty good nothing's like seriously creasing on my forehead lines there might be a hair or so. My pores look pretty good. Around my nose looks pretty good. But I mean, where I itched, none of the foundation really transferred off. But here is the side of my face with the flawless brightening foundation. And then this side is the soft blur foundation. So I'm gonna try tomorrow doing the same exact thing using the same primer and this time I want to put this foundation all over my whole face and I'm going to wear it for about 12 hours tomorrow. So I'll do an update when I finish my makeup tomorrow morning and I'll do an update at the end of my day. So I have a pretty long day tomorrow. Not super excited about it. Mm. Yawning. Time for me to take my makeup off. It's almost midnight <laughs> and I still got a whole face of makeup on and I'm covered in hair. I'm itchy and I'm ready for tomorrow. Okay, real quick, I just finished doing my makeup for the day. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm probably not gonna be home until 10 o'clock tonight. And I use the Hello Happy foundation all over my face. And then I use the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I'm not the happiest with my eyeshadow right now. I had something envisioned and it didn't really work out the way that I planned. I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette and then I used Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks for the eyeliner. My eyes just did not want to cooperate with me today, but we're going to get through this day. I might update you guys in the middle of the day to see what is going on but so far there's only a little bit of creasing and my smile lines is not the worst uh my forehead looks pretty normal and i'll see you guys in a few hours all right so it's been about 10 hours since i put my makeup on and i want to give you guys a zoom in so my smile lines don't look as bad as they were the other day when i used this foundation it definitely works out a lot better. Around my nose, I feel like it's getting a little bit oily, but there's no separation. On my cheeks, I mean, it's getting just a tad bit oily, like right in here. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. My forehead is getting a little shiny right in between my eyebrows here and on the top of my forehead but my forehead lines are looking pretty dang good i'm actually quite impressed with this foundation because i was sweating today i was actually doing stuff so i'm pretty impressed by how this held up on my face and I definitely think that this could go for another five hours, 15 hours, to be completely honest. Now, I do have combination skin, so I do get oily in my T-zone, and I do get drier in other parts of my face. So, keeping that in mind, I enjoy this foundation a lot. I definitely think I'm going to use this foundation more often for the summer, especially since it has that SPF 15, but let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to be using these two. This one almost seems pointless to me because it's so tiny. Like I literally got a sample of something at Sephora the other day and I'm like, I literally could have just gotten a sample of this and 
I wouldn't have had to pay $10, but whatever. Oh, I also wanted to say I used this with my Juno & Co sponge today. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked in my cards, but I tried it out with the Juno & Co sponge and I feel like that's why it didn't crease so much because I noticed the more I use this sponge, the more things don't crease up as much. All right, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up on getting this video out so fast and going out and buying this right on the day that it launched. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I'll have that linked in my description box it's because I ask you guys all the time what you think about some stuff and you all voted on my Instagram for this Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. So if you're not on Instagram, you should try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.